That's all, my lord. All right, Antonio, see to them. Yes, my lord. Oh, Count Origi. Yes? Lady Violetta asked me to tell you that she's ready to leave for Del Monte's studio whenever you are. Oh, good. Ask her to come in. Come in. Oh, Violetta, my child, there you are. Are you ready, Uncle? Quite ready. Painters are a little like women, you know. Oh, in what way? You mustn't keep them waiting. <laughs> you haven't told me yet why you're suddenly so interested in my portrait. Are you afraid that Marco isn't doing me justice? Not at all. The one certain thing in this uncertain world is that Marco Del Monte will do justice to a pretty face. No, I have business with him. Oh. Well, Lady Violetta, does it please you? I think it's beautiful, Master Marco, but I don't think it will please my guardian. Oh, why do you say that? I think it's excellent. Oh, surely not, Uncle, for it makes me look like a woman. And you know you like to think of me as a little girl. That's because you are a little girl. Now run away and amuse yourself on your own while Marco and I have a talk. Yes, Uncle. Don't be impertinent. No, Uncle. You see what I have to contend with? <laughs> Indeed I do. But if you'll permit me to say so, your ward is more of a woman than you think. Why do you say that? An artist sees further than most people, and I see further than most artists. Well, I hope you're as clear-sighted as a Republican. I've got some very important business to discuss with you. Oh? I've come to you because I know I can rely on your discretion. I'm expecting a most important document this afternoon. I'd like to discuss its contents with you. Oh, by all means. Come to my house at 9 o'clock this evening. You can enter my study directly by the side door. I shall be there. Violetta, my dear. I have your permission to join you. May I take my portrait with me, Master Marco? I shall be visiting Count Origi this evening, and I will bring it with me. A good idea. I'm sorry it's finished. I've enjoyed these sittings. So have I. Ah, but you don't need an excuse to get out of the house. I do. Coming, Uncle? Till tonight, Marco. Until tonight. Now, don't let Master Marco keep you up too late. Now, understand, my child. You mustn't mention Marco being here tonight to anyone. Don't worry, I shan't breathe a word. That's a good child. Good night. Good night, Uncle. Oh, Uncle, do you know where Antonio is? Oh, he's gone out. I gave him the evening off. Oh, good night.
The Count's been murdered. Help! Bring help! Don't move, Del Monte. Stay where you are. Drop that dagger. But, my lady... <laughs> Don't cry out, Violetta. I must speak to you. What do you want? I know who murdered your guardian, and it wasn't me. Oh, thank heavens. I'm so glad. But you're in danger. I'm afraid that we're both in danger, especially yourself. What do you mean? I want you to read this. I found it by the Count's body. Antonio? I can't believe it. The Count must have written it just before he died. Do you have any idea why Antonio might have done such a thing? No, I haven't. Well, did he stand to gain anything by your guardian's death? Nothing. He was only the Count's secretary. All the property will come to me, I suppose. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. That's why I came to you. There must be some way that I can expose Antonio. But you have this proof. Oh, but I can't use it. I don't understand. This is a letter containing a list of names, all enemies of de' Medici. Their very lives are at stake. I cannot allow this letter to be seen by anyone. I see. So that is why your coming here tonight was to be kept secret. Oh, did you tell Antonio that I was to be here? No. I promised my uncle I would tell no one. Of course. If I only knew why Antonio did it, then I might be able to find some other way to prove his guilt. What are you going to do with the letter? I shall have to burn it. What? And destroy the one piece of evidence that can save your life? I cannot risk the lives of these others just to save my own. But the watch will be looking for you everywhere by now. Violetta, I'm going to try and remain free until I've proved my innocence. But I shall need your help. Of course. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see Magistrate Giannini first thing in the morning. He is honest and he knows me well. You can swear that you have seen what was written on the back of this letter. Yes. Remember, you're my only witness. You may trust me, Marco. This morning you complained that you were treated like a child. Now you hold a man's life in your hands. Don't worry, I shall do it. I'm sure you will. Remember, Magistrate Giannini, at nine o'clock in the morning. I will give you an hour to speak to him, and then I shall give myself up. I shall tell him everything. You may trust me, Marco. Thank you, Violetta.
Yes? Magistrate Giannini? I am. I am Violetta Corsini. My dear. Come, sit down. Allow me to say how shocked and grieved I was at the death of Count Origi. Thank you. I know how difficult all this must be for you. I understand that Marco Del Monte is accused of the crime. That is what I have come to speak to you about. I've known Marco for many years. I've known him to be impetuous, even hot-headed. But I never thought he could do a thing like this. In fact, I still don't. No, it, it's all so dreadful. I believe you were having your portrait painted by Marco. Yes, I was. He finished it yesterday. And what opinion did you form of him? He seemed to me the kindest and most honorable of men. And yet all the evidence points to him as the murderer of your guardian. Except, of course, I understand there was no actual eyewitness. No eyewitness, but I saw... What did you see? I was in my room, directly above. I was about to retire when I heard voices, loud, angry voices. I hate to hear men quarreling. It, it frightens me. I went downstairs and, and listened outside the door. What did you hear? Marco was quarreling with my guardian. It was about my portrait. The Count did not like it. I think he must have refused to pay for it. He called it inferior work. Proceed, my lady. Did you open the door? Yes. And that's when I saw it happen. You must tell me everything. The Count was shouting at Marco, and, and Marco hit him. The Count fell, and, and then I saw that Marco had a knife in his hand. It must have been an accident. I understand your efforts to protect him, my lady, but there can be no doubt now that Marco Del Monte murdered Count Origi. Marco is so generous and so kind, and, and yet I saw it with my own eyes. Well, I've spoken to him. Now all Marco has to do is give himself up, and he will be hanged for murder. I won't feel safe until he's on the gallows. Don't let him worry you. He's a fool. Imagine he had the evidence in his hand and he threw it on the fire. I still don't understand how you persuaded him to do it. I didn't have to persuade him. He did it of his own accord, for the highest of motives. What luck for us. But suppose he has other evidence. There is no other evidence. He told me so himself. Shh, don't raise your voice. Someone may hear us. You forget. I am no longer a little girl. I am mistress here now. I am rich, I'm free, and I'm beautiful. Don't you think I'm beautiful, Antonio? Beyond all words, I'd do anything for you. And you have proved it. You have killed for me. What can I do for you? I'm here to see Magistrate Giannini. The office is closed to the public today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. But my business is urgent. Whatever your business is, it'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm sorry. You'll be sorrier still if you don't send for the Magistrate. Oh, is that so? Just who do you think you are? I'm Marco Del Monte. Del Monte? Yes, the Magistrate knows who I am. Will you please tell him I'm here? Don't move. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. You're going to the jail. Put that down, Del Monte. I'll be happy to when you've sent for the magistrate. What is this? Put up your sword. It's Marco Del Monte, my lord. He's wanted for murder. Forgive me, Master Giannini. I came here to give myself up to you, but your captain was carried away by his zeal and tried to prevent me. All right, Captain, you may withdraw. You made a wise decision in coming here, Marco. Did the Lady Violetta speak to you? She did. Oh, then you know the truth. Well, I'm glad the chase is over at last. You must have known you couldn't escape. Why didn't you give yourself up last night? I wanted to be sure that Violetta reached you first and that you had all the facts. I still haven't all the facts. 
For example, I still don't know why you killed Count Arigi. But didn't Violetta tell you... I have the Lady Violetta's testimony here. She heard you quarrelling with her guardian about the payment for the portrait. Payment for her portrait? And then she saw you strike the blow which killed Count Origi. Violetta told you that? Would you care to read it for yourself? No. What a fool I was to have trusted her. She was reluctant to denounce you, Marco. Even now, she tries to find excuses for your acts. But, Master Giannini, every word of this is false. Very well, Marco. I must remind you that you stand accused of murder. However, if you wish to make a statement in your own defense, I'll record it now. I did not murder Count Origi. In fact, I'm only just beginning to realize why he was murdered. You see, I've known all along who killed him, but until now, I've been unable to pin down the motive. Perhaps you'd better explain. Before he died, the Count managed to write the name of his murderer on the back of a certain letter. It was for this letter that I went to his home last night. You have it in your possession now? No. Where is it? I, uh, I burned it. I had no choice. You asked me to believe that you had absolute proof of your own innocence and that you burned this proof? Yes. May I ask why you destroyed such a vital document? One on which your own innocence entirely depended. I'm afraid I cannot explain. Oh, I see that you find my story incredible. I'm afraid any magistrate hearing such a story would find it incredible. Come now, Marco. Is that all you have to say in your own defense? Perhaps the Count provoked you. Provoked me? I didn't even get a chance to speak to him. He was dead before I arrived. The sweet Violetta knows who killed him, and she knows why. Master Giannini, I ask only one thing of you. Give me the opportunity to prove my innocence. Marco, I've known and respected you for many years. But what you ask is most irregular. What do you propose? Well, if my guess is right, there is a way. It's a desperate way. But if you let me, I'll do it tonight. Violetta. I won't be long. Good evening, Del Monte. Drop that sword. I must speak to the Lady Violetta. You'll speak to the public executioner, my friend. I came here to speak to Lady Violetta. I will go with you to the magistrate, but first I must have five minutes with my lady. We'll go to the magistrate, all right, now. Thank you, Antonio. I will speak to Master Marco. Stay where you are. My lady, I must speak to you alone. But my Violetta. Don't worry. He will not harm me. Please leave us. I'll not be far away. If you lay a hand on her, I'll kill you. Violetta. Marco, you were mad to come here. If the servants see you, they'll kill you. I took the chance, Violetta, because I had to see you. But why didn't you go to Magistrate Giannini, as we agreed? I want to know. Did you speak to the Magistrate? Of course, I told you I would. It's a pity that you did. It will mean trouble for Antonio. Antonio? What do you mean? You see, I had to protect myself, so I acted hastily. I had to make you believe in Antonio's guilt. I saw the writing on the back of the letter. And you never suspected that it was forged? Forged? Violetta, surely you must understand how I felt about you. Oh, I played my cards cleverly. Your guardian trusted me. Even you never suspected the truth, did you? Marco, I... Oh, Violetta. Those afternoons in the studio, you were so beautiful, so... so innocent. How could I reveal my true feelings for you? I knew that I... I had to prove that I was ready to do anything for your happiness. I knew what you wanted, to be mistress of your life. And I knew what I must do, what you wanted me to do. Marco... Yes, Violetta, now you know I did it for you. 
You? So it was you who killed him? You didn't really think that it was that... that fop Antonio, did you? He might dream of killing for your sake, but he'd never dare it. Oh, Violetta. I have horses waiting outside the city gates. We can be free by dawn. He lies! Don't listen to him. Look at him, Violetta. Does he look like a man who would dare to kill for you? She knows I killed for her. Here in this very room. It was her idea to lay the blame on you. I killed once and I'll do it again. Snape! I think that you've heard enough, sir. I've heard all I want to know. You have condemned yourself out of your own mouth. Take him away. You tricked me. You lied. You... So that's the portrait. Yes, and I'm afraid that I've lost my fee. It's a pity, really. She's a beautiful girl. Yes, she may be very beautiful, Marco. But had I known her only from this portrait, I should never have described her as an innocent young girl. Well, an artist sees further than most people. 